this is Candy from eyes to jesusblogspotcom and welcome to today's anti-vlogmas for December 14th. And today I'm doing some organizing and rearranging around the house and uh, I did some work in uh, the living room and right now I'm doing where most of my work is concerned and that's going to be in the kitchen. So I am currently going through all the drawers, cleaning out the silverware um, organizers and I'm going to go through all the drawers and then through all the shelves and cabinets and then if I still have time I'm probably going to go through some of the homeschool stuff in the dining room and uh, then I need to go uh, organize cabinets and shelves and drawers in, in the bathrooms and then if I still have time I'll go through all my planners and stuff in uh, the bedroom so yeah today I'm doing a project and it is called Organize Things well, today's been a fairly successful Friday so far. Um, didn't need to get groceries or run any errands. I got a lot of groceries last week. This is date night, so I think my husband and I are probably just going to rent a movie, just something nice and simple and relaxing. Um, and the weather today is cold, but not too cold, and I, I am so thankful that uh, the skies have cleared and we're getting some sunshine, so that is really awesome. Alright, for today's anti-vlogmas message, let's start by looking at Isaiah chapter 29, verse 13. And this says, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do they honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. What does that tell us? That tells us that if a Christian is celebrating Christmas but they say it's not pagan to them and in their heart they're honoring God are they honoring God no because it says that they have they draw near me with their mouth and with their lips they do honor me but they have removed their heart far from me why because they are doing something God specifically said not to do therefore their heart really is not following God they are lying to themselves and uh, to others if they say otherwise. It, if what's in the heart is what counts, then your actions, your outwardness shows what's really in your heart. So if you are outwardly following known pagan traditions such as Christmas, but you claim that in your heart you are following God, that's wrong. because. Your outward life, your conversation with this world, as the Bible calls it, it reveals your true heart. Your fruits, the type of tree you are, as we talked about yesterday, your fruits reveal the kind of tree you are. So today, let's address the real thing. Let's address the heart. And if you are a Christian celebrating Christmas, knowing that Christmas is pagan, this is a heart issue. Remember, it's not what it means to you. It's what it means to God. And God has been very clear in His Word that He wants all of our heart. And if we are not outwardly following the commands of the Lord, then neither are we inwardly. And we are deceiving ourselves if we think that in our heart we're doing the right thing when outwardly we are not. The two cannot be separated. Jesus expounds on the scripture we just read in Isaiah 29 13 so let me read that to you again and then let's see what Jesus says about that scripture so Isaiah 29 13 says wherefore the Lord said for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me but have removed their heart far from me and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men Jesus is going to teach us what that scripture means so, if we take a look in Mark chapter 7, let's look at verses 1 through 9. And it says, Then came together unto him the Pharisees and certain of the scribes which came from Jerusalem. And when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with defiled, that is to say, with unwashed in hands, they found fault. For the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they wash their hands oft, eat not, holding the tradition, holding the tradition of the elders. And when they came from the market, except they wash, they eat not. And many other things there be which they have received to hold, as the washing of cups and pots, brazen vessels, and of tables. Then the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashed hands? 
He answered and said unto them, Well hath Isaiah, that's Isaiah, prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Howbeit in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the tradition of men, as the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things ye do. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. So this, of course, is just one example given here to show us where men were keeping man's tradition over the commandments of God. What is it when a Christian is keeping the pagan tradition of Christmas? They are keeping a tradition of man that God said Christians are not supposed to keep. So, if you are claiming that while you are celebrating Christmas, but your heart is for the Lord, you are deceived. If you continue reading this chapter in Mark chapter 7, Jesus goes into saying that uh, what we speak and how we live, our conversation with the world shows what's really in our heart. Come out of Christmas. Repent. Turn fully to the Lord and have a blessed day.